Howdy folks, Assassination Game, Gambit Part 2. Who controls the game? It looks like these are supposed to be chess pieces with Remy Belladonna again. Uh, what else we got? Bullseye, Constrictor, and a few people I can't quite see. A hairy man, and possibly Deadpool, obscured by the title. What do we got? Working the treadmill. Okay. So the car got stopped by the executioner. But he's not the real executioner because we know the federal agent pointing the gun at him is the real executioner. Freeze, pal. You're under arrest. Yeah, that'll work, Dente. You're under arrest. You feds have no sense of humour. The bow's right. Bullets will do nothing against the alien armour of the executioner. I used to wear that armour. Or well, at least a variation of it. After my mentor Fred Duncan was killed by mutants, I took some of the alien artifacts he'd found from a secret federal lockup and created a customised suit of armour and decided to hunt down evil mutants. Later I became fixated on one of my targets, Remy LeBeau, thief outlaw member of the X-Men, and the man whose life I'm now trying to save. He's going to pl plant a surprise for the XC. He's planted, oh, it's the oldest trick in the book, use a few cards, let him, let him go off when he comes past. Once ago, my plan to apprehend LeBeau failed, but even more than that, I failed to uphold a respect for the law and justice. I had become the executioner without a doubt, but I'd also become judge and jury, passing sentence without regard for the evidence. In the abandoned space station which I used as a base, it collapsed into a black hole. I chose to die. But with that choice came a burning desire to do it all over again, and do it right. Failsafe systems teleported my body out of the armour shell and back to earth. I assumed my armour went into the void of the black hole forever. But since somebody's owned that arm, obviously that assumption was wrong. Oh here we go, onomatopoeia time. Wachoom, wachoom, wachrump. Damn that's a new one. Fuhrump. No. Fuhrump. Fuhrump, there we go son. Fuhrump. Okay, oh time for more eyeballs. More frying eyeballs. Jack Farley. Jack, don't know Jack. Ha ha. Here we go. He knows he's got to be nearby to guide the bastards. So he's going to leap over and smack the prick out of it. And what's this? Executioner's back. Uh oh, he's doing his standard trick again. He's going to hide behind the Executioner. And the eyeballs are going to shoot through the Executioner. In order to get to Lebeau. That was smooth. Ah, oh, come on. I let Lebeau go. Shut up, Deadpool. You're lucky you caught me. It's such a Johnny Lewis chachi kind of mood. <laughs> That's good. You son of a smack. I know how dangerous you are, Deadpool, and I don't want to make an enemy of you. But I also know you're an idiot. <laughs> Isn't she nice? I know what they're doing. How are they getting into a boat to get away from it all? I don't like being in the middle of the water. It leaves us vulnerable. I understand what you're saying, Carl. He's got a knife. It's a blade that was intended for you, Lobo. <laughs> I simply despise it when civilians get in the way of a clean kill. Batrock and Zarin. Mercenaries with shitty outfits and generic as fuck abilities. We will not underestimate you again, monsieur. Okay, kaboom. I hate it when they do that. When they friggin' animate every friggin' section of the fight. Well, he's blown up the dock. Blown up the boat as well. Got rid of bad, bad rock and the other fucker. And saved Dente. Yay. Oh, for the love of fuck, now what? Crossbones. Hmm. Smack, 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 smack. Why are his guns glowing? Sisliss. That is strange. Okay, time to smack the fuck out of him. Million dollar paycheck. Now he's going to beat the fuck out of crossbones and. Dente's got a gun on him. Now they walk out. Zardos and whatever the fuck his name is running to crossbones. Who is not very happy because they screwed him over on some other story. The Bloodstone Hunt. Deadpool's still s saying some random shit. <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't cap every one of you Thieves Guild mooks. Oh, they're all Thieves Guild. Nice. So why does somebody keep beating up the Constrictor? That's just mean. He was close to St. Vincent's when they last met him. Oh, Angel's getting in on it. New Sun. Oh, is New Sun still around? Yeah. Think your prayers will be answered. Hmm. 
When you're using your powers, you seem fine. Now you look ready to pass out. Even with expanded powers, I've still got to get it handed to me by Bullseye. From what I hear about him, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Hmm, now where do we go? Uh-oh. A fake executioner. Well, this is like the second comic I've read with a fake executioner in it. And eyeball man. Dive behind something, throw a bunch of cards. You hear me, Farley? This madness ends now. Watch whom? <laughs> okay, that was really good. Your comic, uh, your outfit, though, is still gay as fuck. Okay, Farley's been hurt, you know, because he's been kicked in the fucking head. Wouldn't be knocked out at all, obviously. Uh, what's he doing? The bow's swinging on that statue. Staff. The executioner doesn't just blow the fuck clean out of him. Is the executioner flying now? Gambit really lets loose. He blows up a car. Yep, the executioner can fly now. Dad did not know that was ever one of his powers. The Assassin's Guild. If they subcontracted the executioner and Bullseye, why would they be helping me? Kill the man I love? Well, honey, saving that pleasure for yourself. Does the condemned man get a kiss before he dies? Sheer. Most of the other people, the other mutants in the Assassin's Guild are doing stuff. This person's got the powers of Kitty Pride. apparently. He's reached into his armour and blew up. He's messed up his systems. Kaboom. Here we go. Ooh, there's an X-Men movie. What will they think of next? Hmm. And now we have a building exploding. Let's try this one. Sarawakakakoom. To be continued. Yep. Later, folks.